Okay, you can probably just faintly hear this thing in the background, but this is what I've been working on for a couple of days. Uh, right, whoa, right there we have a sample and hold circuit. Uh, it basically takes a snapshot of an input voltage and holds it until the next snapshot is taken. And it needs something to send it a pulse to tell it to take that snapshot, and that's what this thing is. This is just a... Uh, it's a 555 timer, which is like a basic electronics building block for all you nerds out there. And it's just set to uh, put out a short pulse, like one or, I don't know, two times, two and a half times per second. And right there is my white noise generator, which doesn't work, unfortunately, but it was supposed to send a random pulse into the sample and hold filter for it to sample so the waveform would be more random and unpredictable. So, let's see, what else do I know? So, here we have the handy dandy oscilloscope. And at the bottom, you can see the trigger pulses. And at the top, you can see the output of the sample and hold filter. You can't, unfortunately you can't see the signal that's going into the sample and hold filter, which is a sine wave at like, oh, I don't even know, like five or ten hertz. But uh, it gives a random enough waveform into the sa sample and hold filters so you get something out. Anyways, so I'm putting that output wave into the oscillator input on my Mugger Fugger Freak Box. And I'm just using an AM radio Whee. to uh, open, geez, to open up the uh, gate on this thing. So this is what ends up coming out of the output of the thing. <laughs> on my tiny little amplifier. So you can see that that frequency changes each time this pulse changes amplitude. And that's what's driving the frequency coming out of the oscillator. So I'm going to stop before uh, I get killed for making all this noise. But uh, it's kind of handy. It's a relative success, except for the fact that the noise generator didn't work. But uh, yay.